Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. I was out today checking on my irises. I just wanted to see if they were getting close to blooming, which they actually are. Check that out right there. But as I was looking at them, I noticed these spots. And these are from what you call iris leaf spot. Very original name, I know. But it is a fungal disease that gets onto the leaves. It can be carried over in old leaves, like those right there and will pass along to the newer fresh leaves each year. And it's a fungal disease, like I said, that, and, and you know fungal diseases, they like moisture. So probably the first thing that you need to do when you've got a situation like this is to move them so you've got better airflow and allow the leaves to dry out a lot better. If I take a step back here, you'll see that I've got them kind of crammed all together into one location. This is sort of our, a uh, little bit of a nursery bed that we've got as we transplanted things from our other house over to here that where I'm keeping them temporarily until I can find a good spot for them. So needless to say, this isn't the greatest situation for them to have good airflow. The other thing that's working against that is we've got a lot of trees here in the back and so it's a little bit more shady. Irises love full sun. So what I'm gonna do is the first step is I'm gonna move these into a more sunny location where they'll have much better airflow. I'm gonna to have to actually run to the store to get the other part of the plan and that would be a fungicide that I can spray on. They recommend that you spray it about every seven to 10 days and it takes repeated sprayings to get it under control. Now this is something that may not ever be completely eliminated, but it can be greatly reduced. And that's kind of what we're looking for, is just to make sure it's not going to be too excessive, that maybe there's a spot or two here or there, but it's not a big deal. And I am wondering if maybe the other thing that I could do is go on and get a clean set of pruners out here, prune away any of these leaves that are easily pruned out so I can get rid of them, and then be able to eliminate at least some of that. And with those things, we're not gonna put them in the, in the compost bin, a uh, burn pile would be good for them or just throw them in the trash, get rid of them because we don't want to spread them to any other plants. All right, so I've moved these to a location that's in full sun and I've spread them out so that each pot is staggered in the rows and that they've got enough space around there that I could potentially put in extra pots there, but of course I'm not going to because we want the airflow between them so that they'll dry out in between the rains. And we have had quite a bit of rain, so that's probably a contributing factor at the end of every season you clean up your irises pretty well if you've got an issue like this where you're cleaning up all the dead leaves getting it out of the garden don't compost it dispose of it in some other way especially if you're seeing signs of a leaf spot disease like this but anyway I'm Dave with growing the home garden hope you found this helpful if you did hit the like button and subscribe and we'll catch you next time on growing the home garden